Hi, I'm Josh Schrader and I'm the mayor of Georgetown, Texas. Uh, and I just wanted to answer a question that we've heard from lots of folks recently. And that's why does the city of Georgetown continue to allow new development and growth when we don't have enough water to support the residents that we currently have? Uh, first of all, I want to start off by saying I understand everyone's concerns and frustrations around these issues. Uh, and we, you know, we see the impact of growth. We were recently named the fastest growing city in the entire United States. To start with, let me just explain that you know, we live in the state of Texas, which is a very property rights, business friendly state. And that means that if you own property in the state of Texas, you have the right to develop your property. And, and that's one of the reasons that we're all here and, and that we love our state. Uh, but it does present challenges for us. And so if a developer wishes to develop their property uh, and they submit all the required applications uh, as set forth in state law and our city codes and ordinances, then they get to develop their property. Uh, and we, as the city of Georgetown, operate a water service area that is about 400 square miles uh, that extends far beyond our, our city limits and our extraterritorial jurisdiction. And so any developer that wishes to develop within our water service area, which is called a CCN, has the right to do so and we're required to provide them water uh, if we have the ability to do so. Uh, and they're responsible for paying for all of the infrastructure it takes to get the water to their development uh, and for any impact on our water system. About 1996, the city implemented water and wastewater impact fees, which requires new growth to pay for itself as these developments come online. And we use those impact fees to expand our water and wastewater systems. And so the, the short of it is, is that we have adequate raw water to take care of all of our city and our water service areas needs. The only issue we have is with the amount of treated water that we need to irrigate our lawns, which is about 75% of our water usage within our water service area. And about six weeks out of the year, every summer, uh, this year it's happening a little bit earlier because it's a little bit drier and a little bit hotter than it normally is. Uh, we have periods where our irrigation has to be curtailed uh, because it's exceeding the capacity of treated water that we have at the time. Now we understand that, that watering our lawns is an important part of, of your household and so we have taken, uh, undertaken lots of measures to be able to provide the amount of treated water so that we don't have to curtail your irrigation. Uh, we recently expanded our North Lake treatment plant. That construction project is in the works. Uh, and we have started construction on the South Lake water treatment plant, which is the largest project in the history of the city of Georgetown, over $175 million. And so we hope to be able to provide water to our entire water service area year round. Uh, understand that the development that's occurring that you're seeing with houses on the ground, that development started years ago and the development that's being approved now, those houses won't be on the ground for some years. So the planning process is a complex and difficult one, but I can assure you that it is an issue that is on our minds every single day and that your city council and your staff are working on diligently to make sure that we have adequate resources for our community. Thanks for listening and please let us know if you have any other questions.